Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another little pour. Um, I'll just explain it as I'm going along. I'm going to try and uh, use minimal colours. I'm re-pouring over a canvas that I wasn't happy with, so you can absolutely do well not re-pouring over it. I scraped the previous um, art piece off while it was wet and then washed it off and left it to dry so the canvas is dry. So you can do that with work you're not pleased with, just um, scrape it off onto your poppy pee pad and um, get rid of the paint and then I went outside and I used the um, water hose to get the paint off and then I left it to dry. I'm reusing some gloves so just blow into your glove and it'll be fine enough to reuse again so um, I must go back to using my dishwash gloves the, the gloves that I that you use for washing up so okay I'm just going to um, actually go along and, and um, explain uh, sort of explain it as I go along I suppose I have some of the grey that I made up which was, um, let me think, it was the white with a uh, metallic silver. So it is a little bit thin this so I'm not sure if it will actually be much good for what I'm going to use it for but we'll give it a try. So I'm going to basically coat my canvas with the grey and just I might add a bit of music for the boring bits. I know that um, I did have a few people say that they didn't like they didn't like the videos when I don't talk. So, um, but sometimes you know if I'm feeling like I've got a scratchy throat or I don't feel the best, sometimes you just don't feel like talking through the video. You really need to sometimes just concentrate on what you're doing, and um, yeah, talking is a bit of a distraction because I can find myself going way off track when I'm chatting away to you guys even though um, most of the time I do enjoy the chat Mrs have a chat as my husband calls me so um, amongst other names I'm sure <laughs> but anyway yes yeah, so sorry if some of you don't like the talking and then obviously there's lots that do um, enjoy me not talking so uh, you can't win them all. I just try my best and I just basically got to do what I feel like doing on the day. So that is it. Anyhow, so I've got that grey and I'm going to... This was a bit of the fluoro blue. These were global paints. So I just want to put a bit into... Basically... And I've got a bit of tiny little bit of the uh, high flow this was the high flow in the global tiny little bit of um, rose gold in the high flow so I'm kind of not wanting too much color up this top bit it's got a kind of look a bit a bit like a sky I'm thinking but anyway I'm just gonna see how it turns out and go with the flow as they say go with the flow so it's just nothing technical about that just pouring it on the canvas and now swishing it around <clears throat> yeah so just take your time in that just enjoy the process. Sorry if it's going out of the screen, but I need to get it into the areas that I would like it. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So that little bit of um, rose gold in there, that's nice. I like it. So I'm going to really throw a spin in this one now. Just double check that I've got everything in the right area okie doke all right that's good I am going to oops oops a days 
I'm going now this is a really weird thing to do in a really color this is yeah it was it looks like baby's poop but it, it's kind of turned out like an avocado color and that's what I want at the bottom to represent sort of a grassy kind of knoll down here so I will add this I just can't think what colours I mixed together to get this now. <laughs> I think I mentioned them in a previous video quite a few videos ago, but oh, I can't remember. So it's kind of like a grassy knoll area. Call it a knoll. A grassy knoll. Let's get that all on there. It's very glistening when you come up close. It's like got the shimmer in because I added some of the iridescent medium. So it really makes your paint pop. I just want to add a little bit of the... This is just um, Amsterdam White and Floetrol, just previously mixed. So I'm just... Putting a bit of that in there. All will be revealed, hopefully, what I'm trying to achieve. So, just giving it a swipe through there. I will do my edges after when I can fiddle about with them for a little bit longer, or the boring bits off camera. And then, just create a bit of a kind of grassy area I suppose in an abstract way of course this is abstract art I'm not trying to get the fine details as you would in life well is there any fine details in life I ask okie doke all right um I think the, will I have any black I think I might so I've got, oh, I've just got a bit of black mixed up ages and ages ago in these uh, little squeegee bottles. So. Pretty sure this black that I had made up in that little bottle was only um, Montmartre poster paint. Pretty sure. Okay, looks a bit wild and woolly, doesn't it? Okay, now I'm going to go really off tether. This is really going to set the cat amongst the pigeons, this one. I'm going to say, what the heck is she doing now? that's good keep you wondering keep you wondering I'm gonna pour this last bit of blue in here too I'm gonna to do it in my wiggledy old-fashioned way I'm um, gonna just keep going with it at the minute that's enough of that I think and I've got to get this color in here I've got to make this pop so I'm gonna use the fluoro orange Pop it socks off. Pop it socks off. What's going on out there? And then this is my um, Berry Delicious that I custom make. And it's with the magenta or very dark red and add some phthalo blue or dark blue. 
mix it and then if it needs a little bit darkening up to the real deep cherry then just add a blob of black I love this colour it's just one of my favourites that so I'm going to just tilt that off a little bit that way I'm going to tilt it off this way I think what is the heck she's doing here I do not understand it and that's with abstract art you don't have to understand it you just have to admire it and look and see what you can see within that piece that's what I believe so there you go oh um took my cloth over there silly jilly okie doke um I want some white in there I do want some white get your big nose out of my paint honey bun it's my standard poodle is a nosy this is some white that I've got made up oh I've got to be careful because I just made it up in this big container and it when it's and it's full to the top I just made it up for my paws for the next week so and this is just made up of the pouring medium that I have in the drop down box underneath this video so it's easy peasy it's all there for you guys if you want to look at the uh, recipe and some more of my berry delicious because I absolutely love it now I wish I'd got yellow to put in there too because I love yellow with those colors next stage is this container I'll keep it's Amsterdam white link in the drop down box to the suppliers I use in Australia and you can get everything I use is on Amazon if you're in the US or Canada or Europe but if you're in Australia the drop down box to Capriol Shabby Chic this is Amsterdam white just mixed with Aussie flow troll nothing nothing more so I'm going to put some of the Amsterdam in there okay craziness craziness let's do this what do I want I'll try with my my little spatula if I can get these kind of look that I want to get what do I want to do where's my oh I might dip it in this is the Amsterdam black just mixed with flow troll that I keep in a container to dip my um, whatever I'm using as my dip let's give this a go probably would like that a bit finer that's not very nice but anyway I'm going to go over that so I suppose it doesn't really matter it's not actually what I was going for so I'm not sure if I like that I might try my jilly teeth this is a piece of plastic the soft plastic file divider that I use to swipe and I cut out teeth into it I could put it onto one of my spatulas I painted it black on the one side so you could see because you couldn't see so I called it Jilly's tooth swipe so here we go we might go across and see what a tooth swipe does in this well that's okay, I don't mind that. So it just gives those really fine toothy um, swipes in there. okay my gecko loves them you love it gecko he loves it so that's all that matters hey all's good in the world if your gecko loves your swipes okay 
all right leaving it that at that that at that is that a word I know this looks odd down here but it's not turned out how I um, envisaged but that's absolutely fine I'm gonna push on with it I'm gonna see what we get so I'm just gonna balloon this area I'm not I was going to swipe it should I or should not just let me see if what a swipe comes out like in it okay I might just dip in the black float, uh, float roll and just swipe it back this way. Oh, look at that, guys. Wowzers, trousers. Oh, the cells have just popped up like crazy. So just dipping it in the black with float roll. And I suppose any colour will work. And just look at those cells it brings up. Absolutely. God, yes. Okay, a smaller one down here. Well, it's looking pretty wild. It's looking pretty wild. Wow. That is so reactive. It, um, I got asked, you know, does it work with any paint and flow troll? It does actually, but not nowhere near as reactive as what the Amsterdam paint and flow troll just give. Awesome, awesome cell, sort of lacy cells, a different kind of cells than if you were to use. Um, silicone there's no silicone in these particular now this wasn't I was going to do kind of an earthy ground and then a reeds and but it didn't turn out that way obviously so I'm just gonna you just go with it and sometimes things appear all on their own because they want to so I am going to see what going up this way with my swipe through the colours, obviously. It's just adding to the effects and ultimately, like I've told you so many times, it's what you enjoy doing, how you want to push the envelope of your capabilities and just keep trying to see what you get this kind of reminds me of two worlds colliding because it just looks yeah so different than the bottom I mean I could scrape that green completely off and keep it in the blues probably would be far more fitting this particular painting But yeah, let me know what you think if it's, you know, if you think outside the box, you kind of appreciate this down here. But if you're sort of one for uh, conformity and then you probably won't like it. But, you know, it's all an individual. Oh, probably would look good without that on the bottom. I've probably done as much as I should do with the well they're Aussie card slides because it's Aussie flow troll with Amsterdam paint I I actually really love it I admittedly this is the odd bod so I could scrape it would you or wouldn't you have scraped that Please let me know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you with this any further. I absolutely love this, but yet yeah, I'm not loving that green. I will need to get rid of that hay. So, should I do that on camera? Say goodbye to you, or if I don't do it on camera, you will say I would have liked to seen how it come out. So I'm gonna do it on camera. I'm gonna take that off. I haven't got any more of that 
silver left, but I'll oh, see what I can do. Holy dooly. I might have made a complete dog's dinner of this. But I'll just try, just push on, guys. Like, if you make mistakes, oh, this is wonderful with painting because you can scrape off your mistakes. Don't you wish that life was like that? I have to grab my cloth because I haven't. But yeah, wouldn't it be wonderful if life was like that? Wipe off your mistakes. Wow, well, there's a few I'd like to wipe off. But anyway, I'm just putting the white on the bottom. We'll see what I can get here. Maybe I'll swipe over this. Keep it at that. Oh yeah, that's a little bit thicker than probably. I'll go over this. I know I'll pick up some of the green, but that's okay. That's okay. Absolutely. Absolutely fine. I'll see what few colours I've got here to pop on this. We're having really wild weather in Australia. Well, I don't know if it's all over, but it, here on the Sunshine Coast, it's been sunny, it's been pouring with rain, and then it's been showers, and then it's been sunny. Oh, it's never known whether it's Arthur or Martha. I'll tell you, it's really weird. Really weird. Okay, I'm going to use these colours. This is a bit of ultraviolet. I actually love this. I love it. And then I'll use some of my Berry Delicious because I absolutely love this colour. Put more in here. Alrighty. Let me just see what doing. Using my balloon as my tool. Instead of swiping it or it does look like a completely different painting but you know what give it a go because I can leave this to dry off a little while those colors they would there yeah, I've got to do a paint whole painting in those colors look at those colors super duper licious okay come on you beauty come on let's see what you've got show yourself show the beauty in the canvas that's there. I can see it. Get rid of that. Just using the puppy pee pad is what is underneath these. I'll try to use them several times. It's actually marrying the colour above now because this is all the laciness and then this goes into the basically the garden like the wonderful garden that's in there. <laughs> I love this colour now. I've got to remember this now to do a whole painting in that because they're coming out so lovely. Wowzers trousers. And what will look nice when it's dried off a bit. I'm sorry this is long, guys. Is my little teeny tiny balloon pushed in the centre. It just gives this lovely um, stemmed effect. And I'm picking up a little bit of the green underneath. So it does look as though they're, it's part of the, the plant, the flower. There you go. That is gorgeous colours together. So that was the white, ultraviolet. Um, that was, what was that? That was a uh, fluoro orange. Absolutely stunning. I have to mix those colours now just for a whole piece of art because that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me see what... Oh my goodness, look at that colour under there, look at that. This is what I love about the balloon because, okay, the balloon brings out the magic in a painting too. 
I mean, it can look lovely, look for all those lovely cells, but when I use the balloon, it just brings out, just, well, I believe, it's my trademark, isn't it? It's, you know, there's other artists that have got, do a certain style basically all the time, and it's their trademark because they do it well. So I guess this is definitely a, what did one la lovely lady call it? A jilly, jillyism, or jillyism or something. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it was, you know, to say it was my trademark in a painting. And that looks kind of bizarre because it goes from one colour to the next, but maybe it's the whole transition in life. I flipping, flipping paint, flipping love it. I love it. And I hope you do. And I hope you enjoy my crazy journey um, of art because that's what it, it is about. It's just not stressing over paint because ultimately it's only paint. Um, and it's the, the saying that it's your art room, your way, your rules. So you don't have to conform to other people's um, ideals of what your work should look like because you've got to do what pleases yourself. So that is my bit for today. I am going to, um, I'm going to put the photos on of it standing up ways. I might bring it down for the lovely lacing. Oh. Okay, I'll, bring, I'll just bring you close-up pictures because I'm boring you to death. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for being on this crazy journey with me. You know, I absolutely love this one. And it's 26 minutes long. Oh, my goodness. Bye for now, and I'll be back here again tomorrow. Take care, guys.